Hello and welcome back to my craft room. Well, it's the morning after the night before. Thank you very much to everybody who joined us for the live stream last night, celebrating 2K subscribers. We also had the 2K giveaway. Um, unfortunately, we had some technical issues. First time it's happened, but our live stream got was broken. Um, I think about an hour and a half in we had a few blips and about an hour, hour and a half in it just stopped altogether um most of you i think managed to rejoin we we started like a new stream in effect and most of you managed to rejoin but um i think some people didn't and uh, so i've come on this morning just to kind of recap show you where we left off and let you know um who won the prizes we had four prizes to give away that's my stall not a rude noise um we have four prizes to give away and um I think two of them have got are going to the States this time and two in the UK. Um, so it's all very exciting. So I wanted to show you where I got with my... <laughs> if you're regular viewers, you'll know I never quite managed to finish the project or anywhere near it. But I, I had a great time with this. Let me show you what, what we were up to. And then I'm going to show you the prizes and let you know who won. Uh, where am I going? Here we are. So I was using um, this kit, it was the number 39 upgrade kit, which was sent to me, very kindly sent to me by um, Barbara Brady over in the States. Hello, baby. <laughs> and, um, and it contained everything in it. It had this bag. Here's where I left it last night. Um, I mean, I could kind of call that a finished, I suppose. And um, the, the prompt was show who you are. So I decided as we were celebrating 2K, um, I would go with my kind of uh, my little logo that Tom helped me design. Um, but the idea is I still want to add some uh, butterflies coming off of here. I need to tidy up some of these lines and things as well. And then on the other side of the bag, we've got the up crate. We were talking last night on the stream about how this... Um, how you're supposed to say this is it i think it kind of implies a collaboration between the two of some kind but i don't know upgrade by giotto with giotto plus giotto i don't know so i'm going to put a little i'm going to leave that as is put a little plus sign here and then add my arty farty here and then some more butterflies to pull the two sides together. So I'll, I will be finishing that and I'll film some bits of it and show you that hopefully in a couple of days. So that's that. Um, let me show you what was in the kit as well. So kind of baby sent me this massive parcel of goodies and it included a few um, past kits from different companies. And uh, Upgrade is one that I've not tried before. We were talking about Upgrade last night and uh, I think a few people felt they had a, they went through a bit of a slump for a while but they you know the more recent boxes are looking really good again so it's a bit tempting to give them a try really really enjoyed this kit so we got the bag that i just showed you you get the bottle posts with lots of information and tips and things from the um like the featured artist who they call who did they call it the co-captain with this i think and it tells you about all the supplies and everything and yeah really really nice and um you get the challenge um, and there were four of these Pebio fabric paints which you can set with a hot iron to make them permanent. Um, I may cheat, I have got some fabric paints I use for block printing so if I decide I really can't live without a bit of yellow or a bit of red I have got these I could throw in but because I quite would like to fill the glasses with rainbows. I can't really do a rainbow without yellow so <laughs> maybe cheating. We've also got these for Giotto pencils, uh, pencils, pens, fabric pens, which you can also make permanent with a hot iron. So, uh, yeah, um, and I have to say, the um, I really enjoyed using them. Oh, there was also a brush, not this brush, I, I had a little selection of brushes to use, but it did come with a brush. I really enjoyed how they went onto the fabric. I thought it might be really awkward, but it, it wasn't, and I didn't have to do loads of layers, I had to layer over a little bit so i've got a piece of board with a uh, kind of wax paper palette sheet inside to stop it sticking because emily was with us in the voice chat during the live um she was explaining about how you know it, when she did hers her hers was amazing i'm going to put links below i'll put links in here as well and i will put them on the stream in the live stream description box as well to some of the people that joined us last night who also have youtube channels but emily's um her piece was what she did with this kit was fabulous um 
but she found that she put a piece of cardboard inside and sort of left it for a few days and when she came to look at it again it had all stuck together because there is a stickiness to this paint and with the brushes well you need to wash them really well and just use a bit of soap on them to make sure it's all gone um, it, the coverage was really nice but you can see there's a little bit there it's a bit thin maybe I could go back over again but I don't know if I really need to bother and um, I was surprised I thought it'd be really hard work making the pens work on here um, but it, it they just went on lovely really nicely really enjoyed the whole process for sure emily was saying at the moment the monthly price for, the, for an upgrade subscription is 36 pounds you have to pay postage as well so i mean i'm still i'm a diehard school box fan um but i do think this probably represents pretty good value really o overall with the, with the bag as well i was quite i was i was i'd be i'd have been really pleased if i'd have got this box mm. i put these to one side now so i can show you the prizes i'm going to be getting paint on anything um we had four prizes um and i can't remember what what we did was we we pulled them we did them all at the end we pulled one person at a time and the person who won first got first pick of, of what to choose now i think the first person was i think it was dawn that came up first dawn jones well done dawn um so you'll know dawn from our from the Arty Farty Annie group on Facebook, if you're in there. Um, she does these amazing watercolours. Um, and she chose, she chose this scroller box. I had a, I had five different scroller boxes for her to choose from, but as she loves her watercolours, this one was perfect for her. All five were some of my all time favourite um, scroller boxes. And this one is definitely no exception. So you've got this um, pack of peerless watercolours, um, watercolour sheets. Um, they're fabulous these if, if you've never used them they are they are wonderful if you want to check them out Zoe Hartist who was also with us in the voice chat last night you'll know Zoe Hartist I'm sure um, but if not check her out I'll put links to her as well and I believe she's a peerless ambassador so um, she's definitely got lots of videos showing showing these things these watercolor kind of sheets they're brilliant it's kind of impregnated with the color and you just use a wet brush on it and the, the, you get so much off of this sheet i found i cut them into little strips and they're great to take out away if you're traveling you can just take a small strip with you anyways you get those you get this little uh, uh kneaded eraser putty rubber as we call them here in the uk <laughs> Now, they were laughing at me last night because I said, I, I, these are all brand new boxes. I haven't used them. They're not ones I've used or anything. I've bought them. And uh, and the only thing that's missing is the sweetie. And they were laughing at me, Tom especially, because um, they thought it was just an excuse to get the sweeties. But I did say one of them went funny in there, you know, because sweets will go funny after a while, won't they? And these are older boxes. This was from May last year. But actually, there's evidence that I wasn't lying. Look, there's some stickiness on that card. So when you get this, Dawn... It's not because I've used it or anything. This is where the sweetie had already gone a bit funny in the box, which is the point where I thought, right, okay, that's a good excuse to stick it. It's a good excuse to eat all the sweeties out of all, all six boxes that I bought. I bought two of their combo kits. You can buy these. It's three past boxes and you get a lovely hardback white covered sketchbook as well. So that's where, where these boxes have come from. So you get that and this, oh, I love this but I'm, I was almost tempted to pinch this out of the box but I'm not going to do it <laughs> this is just I love mechanical pencils anyway but this is one of the best ones that I've used because of how it works because you can um, bring up some new lead without having to let go of what you're doing because you can you just press here and it's very easily erasable and you've got a, um, an eraser that goes in and out like that as well and you just do this when you want new lead without having to lose your grip and stop and go like this you just press another bit here they're just fabulous to use really really nice um and you get this um funny little kind of cat's tongue fill book kind of i don't know someone told me it's a cat's tongue is to me it's not quite like a fill book because a fill book hasn't got that that doesn't come to that point so yeah but anyway it's a really interesting shape to play with beautiful artists um print from the featured artist the sticker the zine of course and 10 sheets of watercolour paper it's a lovely lovely box it was one of my very favourites as I say everything really all the prizes I gave away last night were some of my very favourite things that obviously did not go on there I don't know why it's in there okay yeah, so I really all, all four things just represent some of the some of my some of my very favourite things and I tried to do try to, to get a prize for a little bit of something for everybody. 
crafty people, arty people, stitchy people, people like me who just like a bit of everything. And then we threw in a game as well. Speaking of games, Jolene, Jolene Storm. Hello, Jolene. She chose this one. So this is a game called Pass the Pugs. You might remember Pass the Pigs, but I had never seen Pass the Pugs before. <laughs> Let's go back. It's easier to show you on the desk. I think the lighting is better. <laughs> I just love these cute little dogs <laughs> and it's all in this sort of very handy little container so you can just drop that in a handbag or, or whatever a rucksack or whatever and take it away with you to play and it's absolutely addictive this game it seems daft but it is it's just yeah a really addictive game you basically throw them like a pair of dice and uh, depending on what position they land in you um <laughs> they give them all these funny names play dead face plant <laughs> doggy style in Pass the Pigs that is called Making Bacon <laughs> and you get different um, different points and different results depending on what you throw it's just such a simple thing but absolutely addictive and uh, any age can play it Zoe was telling us that her dad and her granddad used to play it at Christmas <laughs> then there was Jackie so Jackie chose to have one of my new slow stitching kits um, she chose this pink one um, you, you will know Jackie from the Discord, you'll know her as um, a fabulous Jax. Um, she's also, you'll, she appears on the Facebook group, so does Jolene by the way. Jolene is in the Discord and the Facebook group, so you might know her from there. It was uh, Jackie who inspired me to have a go at dyeing my hair pink, which I tried to do it in time for the party last night. You can see it a little bit there. I just look, I, I had more success dyeing my scalp. <laughs> the palms of my hands i was up to here i died the parts of the bath which was a bit of a panic situation because we do rent this house so <laughs> anyway jackie's got this amazing or oh, I, I don't know if she has at the moment but has this amazing pink hair which she's dyed with kool-aid and all sorts of things she dyes silk she gave me she sent me some beautiful stuff recently including the silk scarf i was wearing last night so um yeah she inspired me to get this so she anyway she loves pink i'm gabbling again now these i'm gonna i won't go on about this now too much um this is going to be a new sewing kit they're going to be going in my etsy shop tomorrow monday the 5th of june uh, they should be up in the etsy shop but i will be putting a video out and letting you know when they come out there's all sorts of colors and things i mean to be fair there is quite a lot of pink but you know and they just be really different as a superheroes one as well <laughs> Um, but this is one that Jackie chose and funnily enough it's the one that made the sample that I've made up and the idea I'm going to call this a slow, a slow stitch as whatnot which Tom thought was hilarious um, and the idea is it was based around this needle threader it's the best needle threader this little thing is the best needle threader I've ever used I think and uh, but the only thing about it is it's quite difficult to pick up you have to kind of slide it towards you so I found myself thinking well there's a little hole in it I'm going to put a cord through it to make it easier to pick up and that is where this that's where this idea was born basically so I thought well I'll make up this little heart um, do do lots of slow stitching on it uh, make a little hanging loop and um, you could attach this to your you could attach this to your scissors as well and put a couple of thread things on and you've got you can use it as a pin cushion um, so yeah it's a handy little uh, a handy little whatnot <laughs> if you're a slow stitcher and you could embellish it a lot more than I have there as well so what I've done is I've put in there's some plain fabric to, to base your to stitch your pieces onto I mean, in this case it's this pale yellow then there's a pattern fabric that goes on the back and then there's all these other strips of pattern fabric that you that you apply um, and lots of bits of trims as well you don't have to use them all in that little package there's some beads and sequins to add this is for the plaited cord um, there's a couple of pins there because it's handy just to have a couple of pins there will also be a needle there but I'm waiting for my Amazon package <laughs> that's to in. obviously the needle threader is included and the book ring and there'll be two of the um the little thread holders in there with a selection of threads to use um so really ev oh and stuff them. so everything you need it's just got jacks on there so i wouldn't forget <laughs> everything you need is in that kit and i just think that's going to be a really really handy little thing um i shall have that clip to my scissors and um if you had if you're making one of um tories one of cool kooky creatures little needle 
cases that she's been showing you could actually put a little loop on that and attach that as well and you the whole lot would all go together so uh, yeah anyway so that is the one that Jackie chose and um, what was on oh, the last last but not least you might have seen me making up the mini the mini kit this is the display stand that goes with it and I've finished making up this mini kit so this is going to Shalia here we go and Shalia's just joined our discord just just last night so you'll see her about in there I'm sure so here's the little um, finished miniature piece that's not focusing very well um, you can't see it too well but there are so many details in this if you look in that little hotel reception down the bottom there there's a reception desk and everything in there lots and lots of details I love these little kits and it does all light up let me briefly turn off the light so you can see a bit better it's not gonna there you go <laughs> ah, so cute those and then it goes on the stand either open or closed it'll, st it'll stand up like that and i think this is a nice neat dinky little shape that isn't going to take up too much space as well Hey, keep that box, I'll probably send it off in that box. So I have now contacted all the winners and um, to get hold of their addresses, to send those off. Those will be hopefully bringing their way to them tomorrow. Oh yeah, and I just wanted to mention that for anybody who wondered about it, when the stream broke and then we had to come back on, as soon as we, came, as soon as we started a new stream and came back on again, we did the giveaway pretty much straight away in case we just lost the internet altogether. Um, but just to reassure anybody, if you were in the hat already, if you'd already joined the giveaway, your name was still there it, it didn't disappear when the when the internet broke <laughs> so you're all there we actually had oh, i didn't count up all the entries in the end i know we had 50 before we started and then everybody we had about 50 people with us during the course of the stream as well so um yeah we probably had about 100 entries so yeah yeah it was really exciting uh, thank you so much to everybody who joined us or who has watched since thank you for all your good wishes and support it is so much appreciated i've said before i'm sort of not in the habit of saying please like and subscribe and comment and stuff because i just I kind of just don't think to do it really um but it doesn't mean I don't appreciate every single like every single subscriber and all the comments that you make I love to read them it really makes my day and um I, you know we're just such a warm friendly supportive community or arty crafty community um it's really there's very little I can't say none at all I suppose but you know very very little bad feeling ever it's just you all you all lovely and I feel like I've had so much found my tribe doing this and um connecting with everybody on discord is brilliant anybody's not on discord yet please give it a go it just feels so so personal oh there was that reminds me there is one more thing a few people came into voice chat it got a little bit shambolic a little bit bedlam I think next time we're just going to bring in people two at a time because it just it kind of gets a bit too much and a couple of people had hiccups trying to get in um, so if anybody is in the discord and they want to join in the voice chat you can do that at any time um, doesn't have to be during live we don't have to be there you can just go in and chat to each other you can watch something together if you're in the voice chat you can also use your webcams and uh, speak to each other face to face as well if you want to that's all there it's all free um, any problems we will try to help it's difficult for Tom to be able to help he does his best but when he's um, kind of controlling the live stream and everything for me he's got quite a lot on his plate he seems very calm but he's actually doing quite a lot so apologies if he wasn't able to get to everybody um, but if anybody wants to have a little practice go when we're not on a live stream at just how to get into the voice chat so you feel comfortable doing it because once you've done it it's so easy you just literally click in the right place and you're in there the only thing that you might accidentally mute yourself or something there's a little microphone icon so if we're not hearing you try clicking that um, and the only other issue is that if somebody's got something playing <laughs> naming no names <laughs> don't worry about it i've done exactly the same thing on other people's live streams um if you've got something else playing in the background or somebody else you know your hubby's over in the corner watching watching the football or something you need to mute that if you're going to be in the voice chat on a live stream and you also need to mute if you're watching us live stream on your tablet say um you need to just mute that because you'll hear it through the voice chat 
if you have it also playing on your tablet or where, whatever, or PC or whatever, will all hear it twice. <laughs> that sounds complicated, but it's really not. Once you get in there and do it, it's really not. So as I say, if anybody wants a little practice, just jump into voice chat for five minutes, just so we can uh, talk you through it. Just shout, just just tell me, just tag me in the, in the general chit chat. You tag in, in Discord, you tag the same way as you do in other things. You just use the little at sign and uh, start typing artifarty and it will come up as an option. Click on that and that will just tag me. I try to keep an eye on the general chit chat, but it's quite, it's, it's a busy old place, that Discord server now. And so it's easy to, to miss things. But if you tag me, I'm, I'll definitely see it. I think that's enough waffle for now. I've been waffling on for way longer than I thought I was going to. This is going to be like a five minute, a five minute job. But thanks again to everybody who joined us everybody who's watched since thanks for all your good wishes and support for the people who didn't make it to the live stream but you know you you, you subscribed and you leave comments all the time and everything it's so much appreciated um i felt like uh, we were all celebrating last night and it was it was just brilliant i will be back um tomorrow hopefully with those with those kits and let you know when they're going up in the Etsy shop they're going to be quite inexpensive so I hope a few people will have a go and stitch along with me that'd be really fun and I can make up I can make up lots more I just thought I'll make a I'll make a few dozen or so just to see how they go um at some point this week I will finish off that bag and I'll film some bits of that as well so you can see how that went so that's it thanks so much for joining me and um I'll see you again really soon